Okay, so uh, what I got here is a, um, what the hell is this? Solid, U.S. solid. It's a motorized valve. And unfortunately, only comes in normally closed. If you can see the ball in there, it's closed. That's the normal position. What we're going to do here now is convert it to a normally open. So the way it works now is that when you apply power to this, it opens. And when you remove power, it uh, has a series of uh, capacitors in there. Uh, super capacitors, I believe, but uh, uh, when you remove the power, the super capacitors uh, will drive the motor uh, back to um, closed, uh, to close the valve. So we don't want that. We want an open valve, normally open, and when we apply power, we want to close it. And so this is not going to do the job. So... Let me show you how I'm going to do this, if I, if I can. Now keep in mind, I, I can't see the camera from my vantage point there, but uh, on the bottom here, there are four screws. Hopefully this is showing up in the camera. One, two, three, and four. Now these are easy enough to get out, okay, uh, when, it's, when the valve is in this position. And so I've already started a couple. That can be a chore. They are in the plastic and uh, hard to get out in some cases. Or hard to get started. I already started these two here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this body, this valve body. Okay. Okay, there's the valve body. This is a uh, the slot. This is what actually uh, moves the valve. And so what we're going to do is rotate this bracket 90 degrees so that it um, will engage the valve when it's open, not closed. And that's the easy part, by the way. It gets harder after that. So let me, let me just get these screws out of here. I lost the screw. Okay. So those screws are out of there. Now there's another three screws here. And so what we're going to do is take these three screws out. We're going to rotate this bracket 90 degrees. And there's the bracket, there's the bracket, there's the valve, valve still closed, what we're going to do is rotate this until the ball is open. This, this part right here, you're going to rotate it until the ball is open. Okay, try to get it uh, somewhat vertical or horizontal or in line, so to speak. And we're going to put this bracket back on, but this time it's going to be 90 degrees from where it was. So, 
it will be like this. I don't like doing this one. I, I can't see the camera. But I don't even know if it's still recording. Let me take a look. Yep, still is. Or I think it is. Yep, still recording. Okay. So, I just rotated the bracket 90 degrees. And now, when this is not powered... The slot here will engage the valve when it's open. That's simple enough. Now comes the hard part. Since we rotated this bracket 90 degrees, the valve body now covers the holes where those screws were. You see them? Uh, making it near impossible to put the screws back in. Um, you can put them in and then drive them in with a pair of needle nose or you can use studs which is the idea I have. First I'm going to try to put them in with needle nose and, and I'll see if I can get them tight enough. This doesn't need, there's not a lot of strength here, it just needs to be held in place, that's it, period. There's not a lot of torque or, uh, you know, it, it just has to be held in place. So. First thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to get one of these guys. I'm going to grab it with my needle nose. Well, maybe, you know what? Probably be easier if I try to put all four of them in at one time. You see, I can't even get it in now. I might have to remove this bracket again. I can't even get them into the hole. This I probably can on the rear. But up front here, I can't even fit the screw in. So I'm going to have to loosen this bracket up so I can sneak the screws back into these uh, holes here. I'm doing this. Uh, I'm designing this as, I, we, as we go along here. Okay, I just want the screws to barely hold this bracket and give me some uh, wiggle room. And uh, now I'll try to get sneak the screws in here. Now I'm having difficulty seeing. If I'm if I'm having difficulty seeing, you definitely are having difficulty seeing what's going on, but, uh, oh, this is asinine, look, I'll just take the valve, uh, this bracket off, put the screws in first, and then put the bracket on, that's what I should have done in the first place, okay, okay, ah, wonderful, so it's off again, The screws out of here, they're all loose. Okay, so now we're going to put these in. Uh, let's see, I want this one. Yeah. So they go in like this. One. S sloppy. Sloppy workbench here. It's actually my kitchen table. Two. Three. Four. Okay. 
Now they're in. Little camera check here again. Okay, we're still recording. All right. Okay, so now we're going to put these three screws back in the bottom here and the bottom of the body. And like I said, these screws are going to be hidden. You know, you're not going to easily uh, be able to screw them in. You try it with a needle nose first. If that doesn't work, we're going to uh, epoxy some studs into this thing and we'll use nuts. If, if you don't know what I'm saying, you'll, it'll become apparent later if you actually have to do it. But uh, for right now, we're going to give this a try because it may be hard, but it's probably the easiest way for a lazy person like me <laughs> to actually do this. <clears throat> and pull it off. Pull it off, meaning uh, not pull it off, but get it working. That's what I mean by pull it off. Pull it off. All right, that's tight. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, yeah, the screw doesn't go in here. It goes in here. There'll always be one one hole here, by the way, on this bracket that won't be used. Depends on which way you turn it. This hole is not used right now, so I'm going to push the screw back out of here. Right. I'm going to lose it. Where the hell did it go? The screw now goes in here. Okay. Okay, let's get this one tight. Okay, this one tight. Okay, so now we got you know these four screws here that we're gonna uh, hopefully try to screw in by grabbing onto the head and uh, rotating with a pair of needle nose. But I have my doubts we're gonna be able to do that. But you know it's it's uh, the easiest thing to try first. So we're going to line them up and see the screws are trying to, you know, align with the uh, studs there where they belong. And let's see if I can push it down flat a little bit. And uh, now try this. You see, there's no way of getting a screwdriver in there. So. Uh, we'll try to get them started with this needle nose, and we'll see where this goes. I wish I had a hex head screw like that. Since they were threaded before, it shouldn't be too hard to get them started. Just a matter of uh, getting them down snug and tight. This one feels like it's going in. It is going in. How do you like that? Let's try this one. And this one's going in. This might be easier than I thought. Yep, it's going in. I might, might actually uh, pull this off. And then this guy. I don't know how much you see on the camera, but you, you get the gist of it, right? I don't know why in the hell, you know, all I had to do was cast another bottom here and use the same bracket. I don't know why in the hell they don't sell a normally open valve, which I would think would be quite normal instead of this normally closed you know, to keep this valve open, you have to keep power on it all the time. And, uh, 
they say it doesn't draw much power, but even though, you know, uh, in, in my case, I'm going to use this as a shutoff valve for the entire house. And when we lose power, electric power, to the house, I don't want my damn water going off, too. You know, so the valve would close. And I was, you know, cooking up schemes with, uh, you know, uh, using a uh, lithium battery, backup, whatever, and I decided, you know what, what the hell, let me see if I can't change this valve to do what I want it to do. And son of a bitch, looks like this is going to work. I don't have to put any studs in here, no nuts, no nothing. Looks like this is going to work fine. Yep, they're going down tight. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. A little hard to grab the heads. It's tight. You can see this one's still loose. This one is. But they started in the hole, so it shouldn't be too bad. And I can see it's gone down, so threading in there. Needle nose. There you go. Tight. Last one. And there you have it. I'll be damn. Works fine. All I gotta do is apply power to it. See, it's normally open now. That's exactly what I want. And when I apply power, it should close. Um, and let's see if the uh, filming guards are with us. It's still uh, actually recording. That's a good thing. So let me get something to power this thing up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got myself a uh, two-cell two -cell lithium pack here, uh, seven volt. Should be able to drive this thing. Uh, the wires right here. Stick them in a the hole here. Hopefully not short out an uh, or a, a lithium battery and burn my house down. I think I'll probably use the big big leads here. But the polarity doesn't matter. It's AC DC. And I hear the motor running. You see it? It's closed now. So that's exactly what I wanted. Closed when energized. Open when de-energized. Cool. Mission accomplished. I'm sure uh, there are lots of guys looking to, looking to do this. So there you go. There you have it.